Uh, time now uh, for the picks. Today's uh, picks brought to you by uh, Route 4 Auto Mall. That's right. Route 4 Auto Mall brings you the picks for week number seven already. Overshadowed, obviously, by the baseball, but still an NFL uh, football Sunday in the league where they play. For pay. <laughs> Two and one last week, nine and six on the season. So uh, we'll see if we can find three for you to kind of rip home today uh, on this uh, week number seven Sunday. It's, you know, there's a couple of these big games. You got the Pats and the Falcons playing the Sunday night game, a rematch of the Super Bowl. You have, uh, you know, Packers trying to win without. Aaron Rodgers, you have, you know, the locals playing the Seahawks and the Dolphins, respectively. Um, I'm not going to get into the Jets or the Giants this week. I'm going to lay off the the locals and uh, take it from there. Um, Game number one, uh, it isn't often that I uh, pick the Bills. But I'm going to pick them here as a three-point favorite at home against the Bucks. Bucks will have obviously Fitzpatrick quarterback, who I like. I think he's a gutty guy. He'll give it a you know a decent try. But I love the way the Bills have played defense so far this year. Um, oh, Winston starting? Oh, he is starting now. All right, so that even changes. You know, that makes it even. Eh, I'll lay off then. I thought they. I just finished reading that they said that Fitzpatrick was starting. Now you tell me Winston's definitely starting. I just announced Winston starting. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to lay off that one. I'm glad you told me. So I'm not going to pick it if it's Winston starting because I think the Bucks are the better team. So I got to lay off that. I'm glad you told me. Thank you because I thought he was – I just finished reading a thing that said Fitzpatrick was starting. So now, you sure he is? All right, so now Winston's starting. So uh, Mons just said they announced Winston starting. All right, so we'll pass on that one. I'm glad uh, Noah because I would have had a different quarterback. You hate games. You really shouldn't pick games with the quarterbacks iffy. But I thought uh, Winston was out of the game. I mean, they had declared. I was watching something last night where they had Winston completely out of the game all week. So sounds like he's made a uh, comeback. And I'll tell you, Fitz played pretty well, I thought, last week anyway. All right, game number one um, is in San Diego. And I really dislike what I saw from the Broncos last week on a couple of levels. Plus, I also like what I saw from the Chargers. Now, I don't think the Chargers are that good, but I think they actually have a little something in the tank. They have a pass rush. They clearly have more talent than they've shown. They've been heartbroken in a couple of games. Now they've had their season turn around a little bit the last couple of weeks. And I think Denver on the road in this game against, and really they showed a lot of things last week he didn't like, offensively and defensively. The Chargers are a one-point favorite, and I think San Diego is going to beat them in this game. I think they're going to win again. I, I think San Diego's, you know, a team that has been heartbroken so much. They've been so close so many times. Now they've been able to taste victory, and I think they can, you know, when you look at it, they can get right back into it. That division now with what happened last night has really tightened up dramatically. And before you know it, it could really tighten up. I mean, the Chargers could get to 3-4 and four here. Denver would be 3-3 three and three if they lose this game. Kansas City's got two losses. The Raiders are up to 3-4. and four, So that division could really tighten up if the Chargers can win this game against Denver. And I think they can. I, like I said, I was not impressed by uh, anything Denver did last week against the uh, Giants. And I think San Diego's got a little gas in its tank now that they've turned uh, turned all the bad things around with two straight uh, victories. So I think they would, uh, they'll win again and make it three straight. I'm going with the Chargers, uh, minus one, pick number one. I would like to pick the Sunday night game for you, but I have to admit, I don't know which one of those teams is going to respond. I haven't liked what I've seen from the Pats on defense. I haven't liked anything I've seen from the Falcons, so I'm just going to have to observe on Sunday night. I don't know what to make. The only thing I'll tell you about that game, and I don't ever get involved in totals, that game's going to have plenty of points scored. Unless we get a monsoon or something changes weather-wise, I don't think either defense is going to shut down either quarterback in that game. I do think you will get a very, very high-scoring game. And uh, I I think, other than that, I have no idea who's going to win. I'm going with the Vikings here at home. The Vikings have been a good favorite 
And the Ravens, to me, I picked against them. I picked them last week, and they let me down. And their offense looks to be in a chaotic state right now. And Minnesota, I think, at home, usually when they're playing an opponent, they can push around and can really put some pressure on. They usually play pretty well. They still have... They still have something going up there. I like their energy up there, and I think they'll win again. Now, they're a a five-and-a-half-point choice, which is a lot considering the injuries they have, but I think they'll respond. I do not like anything I've seen from the Ravens offensively, and I was really horrified by by what I saw last week because they absolutely gift-wrapped the game to the Bears, and they did it by turning the ball over. It was just ugly. Uh, They need to figure out their problems. I don't think they will in a very tough place to play against a very good defense with a big-time pressure defense. And I think Minnesota's got just enough weapons to to make some plays there. They've salvaged their season, and now with Green Bay down, they know they can win the division. With Aaron Rodgers down, you know, they absolutely know they can win that division. So from that standpoint, you have to, you know, expect them to come up with a big effort. I think they will. They're five and a half point favorites. Give me Minnesota minus a five and a half for a game number two. Um, I'm going to have to pick this out of desperation because I don't have a third game otherwise. And I think this is going to happen. I hate to say it, but I think the Dolphins are going to beat the Jets this week. I I don't want to pick against the Jets because I like what they've done. But I think... With what happened last week, Miami, and what happened earlier this season with that embarrassing loss, I think the Dolphins are going to beat the Jets this week. And I'm surprised the line is so small. It's telling you that they absolutely hate the Dolphins here, which I understand why they do. But I have to admit, I was going to lay off this game, but I'll take it now because I don't have a third game otherwise. So I hate picking against the Jets. I haven't picked against them all year. I haven't picked them at either, but I haven't picked against them. I'm going to pick against them here as three-point. Dolphins are three-point favorites. I think the line should be bigger. I think the Jets on the road this week, I think this is a tough spot. I think the Dolphins showed you some good things they did in the second half of that Atlanta game. They hung in tough. They got down 17-0. They could have quit cold in that game. They didn't. They bounced back. They won that game. Now, listen, Ryan handed them the game. I understand that, but They did take it. They did make the plays they had to make. Now they'd like to pay the Jets back in a big way, and I think they will. I think the Jets will have trouble scoring against the Dolphins. Low-scoring game, maybe it's 17-10, maybe it's 20-10, but I hate to say it. I I actually hope that I'm wrong about this one, but I don't think I will be. Uh, Dolphins minus three over the Jets, and only reason I'm picking is because I don't have a third game otherwise, because there's nothing else there that jumps out at me at all. So uh, three picks, Chargers minus one over the Broncos, Vikings minus five and a half against the Ravens, and the Dolphins minus three against the Jets picks for week seven.